This video marks the beginning of part three of this series, Assessing Learners in Blackboard. The next several videos are going to cover all of the ways you will be evaluating and providing feedback for your students' coursework. We begin with the Grade Center, accessed over here in the control panel, and specifically with the Needs Grading page. If you have a heavy grading load, the Needs Grading page can help you determine what needs attention first and allows you to access it quickly. You can view all items ready for grading. You can view individual assignments, group assignments, and test attempts, as well as blog and journal entries, wiki page saves, and discussion posts ready for grading or review. For courses with a large number of students and gradable items, you can use the information and functions on the needs grading page to determine and organize your grading tasks. For example, you can sort and filter the list, allowing you to grade the most urgent items first. Let's take a closer look. Access the Needs Grading page in the Grade Center section of the Control Panel. Click Grade All on the action bar to begin grading and reviewing immediately. The Grade All function places all attempts in a queue for easy navigation among items. The items in the queue appear in the order they appear on the Needs Grading page. Note that tests and other assignments with a grading status of attempt in progress do not appear on the needs grading page. To organize your list, sort a column by clicking the column title. The sorted list remains in effect until you change it or log out. The following columns appear on the needs grading page. Category, an easy way to sort through attempts to group all assignments or tests together. Item name, for sorting attempts by alphabetical order or reverse alphabetical order. User attempt shows the student's name, and the number of attempts for the item is listed in parentheses. For example, Mary Johnson, attempt one of two. Click a user's name to go directly to the attempt and begin grading. The date submitted column sorts attempts by the date and time students submitted the attempts. You may find this useful when a large number of attempts must be graded by a specific deadline. And finally, due date. If you provided a due date when the item was created, sort attempts by due date and grade items that are due first. Click here to apply filters to narrow the list by category, item, user, and date submitted. If you apply a filter, only the filter items appear in the list and in the queue. For example, make selections in both the category and user drop-down list to display tests submitted by a particular user. Click Go to display the filtered items on the Needs Grading page. The filtered list remains in effect until you edit the filter choices or log out. Click the X to collapse the filter field. The total number of items to grade appears above the list of items here. After you grade attempts, they do not appear on the Needs Grading page, and the number of items updates to reflect the current number that needs to be graded. If you filter the list, the number reflects how many items match the current filter settings. For example, 12 of 17 total items match current filter. Access an item's contextual menu for additional grading options. For assignments, you can select Grade All Users or Grade with Usernames Hidden. For tests, you can also select Grade by Question and View Attempts. Interactive items such as blogs, journals, wikis, and discussion posts which can be set to go into needs grading status after a certain number of activities, also have the option to reset all, which clears that activity counter and moves the item out of needs grading status. A total number of attempts for the selected item is listed in parentheses. Click Show All down here to display up to 1,000 items on one page, and click Edit Paging to change the number of items to view per page.